Hello beautiful soul, welcome to you guys time, let's pick a card. For this pick a card, we are going to take a look at what's the gossip on you. What are people saying behind your back? We are going to figure out, we are going to discover it all. <laughs> <laughs> also i want to thank everybody before we move on to the piles i want to say thank you for each one of you that comes back and look at my videos you know you know who you are and i'm thank you for all of you and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe uh, let's enjoy and let's have fun with each other now let's go because i just came in and just wanted to mention that but let's go back to your pals okay let's go back to your pals that being said you have three pals that you can choose from for the first pal this is your sticker or emoji and this is your crystal a clear quartz with your image and then for the second pile, this is your sticker or emoji with um, the smoky quartz as your crystal. Yes. And for the third pile, this is your sticker or emoji with the rainbow moonstone as your crystal. So yeah, I will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in, breathe out, choose your pal. You will hear three high pitch notes just to oomph you up. And I will see you at the pal or pals that you have chosen. Timestamps are down below. So, Pal 1, you have chosen this sticker or emoji with the clear quartz crystal as your pal. Let's take a look. Let's see uh, what's the gossip on you, what it is that you need to know. Let's start with your oracle first. So, you have affection, number 12, the Taurus sign. Let's see what it is that you need to know more what is people gossiping on you i ask my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us hampton on to let us know what is people gossiping when it comes to pal one what is people gossiping about when oh that's too much though but we are taking them seems like you need to know a lot uh, so you have refinement together with affection you also have trust. Oh, look at that. 1221, mirror number. You also have uh, regeneration and longevity. Hmm. People are in your business. There is something that they are questioning about. If this is... Did you start something new? I do think like... I don't know if you have started something new or you have announced something. Something that actually, like, this is something, are you married? It can be your in-laws. Okay, uh, okay. I'm getting too much message in once. Uh, too much message in once. Because, um, did you start something? Okay, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. I will, I will tell exactly what I'm seeing and then I will see if they talk about the whole situation because I really see some of you have started a business and you have told your in-laws uh, there is something of all your in-laws is gossiping about you you know or your partner's a family and uh, there is also um, um, what I'm getting is like really like you might have um, announced a new relationship to the people that you like and love you know a new family member there is something of a new announcement and it's something that it was first hidden between you and that person or you and that situation and now you have announced it to the world and people may now put in their judgment of what they think about the situation if how long will it be i mean we have heard it long you know every time this a thing every time a new thing like that kind of a way people are now putting in what they think of this situation right here um some of you may have 
gotten money from um from family members you know from from um not family members but from um you know when somebody um leave you something there is something of you having a good news or you having a good thing going for you and a person gets to find out what a thing is and they are doubting the fact like yeah now nah, we will see how long it will last or we will see how long this will go you know it's about you and we i know we are talking about what's the gossip on you but it's about who you are and that's the thing that's the gossip like do you really think you can be that dot 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 whatever you have announced new to this to these people let's see what is the gossip on you my lovely beautiful power one what is the gossip on you what is it that you need to know yeah it's definitely something new with a world card it's definitely something new you have you have given a new um a new beginning a new chapter for you this is a new chapter for you but yet now you know black people no, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but yeah you some of you have announced that you are pregnant maybe you already had a child or you have more children or you know or you have a child but you don't have a relationship they'll be like okay listen honey oh no but one have announced that they are pregnant oh, who's the daddy i don't know but we have seen it coming didn't we yeah because she he she they eat is kind of a loose you know like this is something of a celebration something that you kept hidden and now you want to share it with the world or they just find out and it's it, it's becoming an issue of you know we expecting it no you didn't no you didn't and it's definitely to do with something of your close family that you like you know something of you and what you have closed and near and dear to you it's like you know sometimes you don't want to announce it's like very fragile thing that you really like and love and people are already putting their judgment on it i don't like that i don't like that so let's see what it is that you need to know more what people are gossiping Ooh. i don't know but all the cards kind of fell like on my hand yeah people you have the six of wands in reverse underneath the deck you have the queen of swords i'm gonna put this one here and then the ten of swords you have next so listen listen my love listen what they are gossiping about when it comes to you is the fact that whatever you have announced to them they don't see you can go through with it or they don't see that you will have victory with it okay it's like for how long looking at the longevity for how long do you think she, one he she they eat can let this length uh, last you know it's a new beginning for you a new chapter but they are already predicting looking at the queen of cups that this is going to be a failure you know and and that's that is the reason why i always say like act in quietness till you did what you need to do and then announce it you know and the thing is the sad part of that about this situation is imagine if it is a pregnancy that you have announced you know and you have waited months before you announce the pregnancy and you announce it and people be like Oh, I didn't know they 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 went for a child. Oh my God, do you think they can become a parent? Now I don't think uh, she knows who her partner is or ha what the hell was he she they thinking? You know, and I'll be like, hello, there is an innocent child that is coming into this world. A family is being created, and you guys are putting already negative energy of a new creation, a being. Let that be, you know. So really, these people are really, you cannot trust them. You cannot trust them. And I don't know. But for some of you, as I said, it can be a, a family in law. It can be um, um, people that are very close to you. Because these are not people that are um, from a distance. Like these people, 
it can also be for example like a friend like it's not people that are like co-worker or something like that no these people knows about your private business that unless you share that with your co-workers your private business you know then you are letting them have the thing that they can um also um put in their opinion about this situation but I see that this situation is really people close by and looking at the six of wands in reverse this is something that they don't see you go winning with this one and now you have the queen of swords in reverse I do hope you can embrace between these gossiping people that you can embrace the queen of swords kind of energy and cut people's mask off because the queen of swords as everybody that is familiar with my channel knows that's my bitch y'all because she cut people's mask off she don't take bs from nobody and if you lie into her face you lie in in her face she be like okay i see through you i see through you boo boo okay and i ain't the one that is boo boo the fool it seems like you are okay like that kind of energy is what queen of swords is giving um this situation here is kind of for you to um, realize who is who in your surrounding um and what news you share with these people, with, with the people in your surrounding. Because you must focus on the direction that you are going, but people are already sending negative energy on your new creation, whatever that may be, the thing that you announced, that you be like, yay, I'm going to do this. And they be like, oh my God, there you go, part one once again. Like really every time the same same song with that one like yay they're gonna do something you know them well that ain't gonna last like that kind of energy and if there's something serious or oh i have a new friend or oh i have a new boyfriend girlfriend i have this is my husband or this is my child i'm pregnant whatever that is that kind of a serious announcement and they react like that i mean do they deserve to be in your surrounding? So you also, let's see what is that you need to know more about this situation. Let's see. What is that you need to know more about the people that is gossiping? Yes. And. Bad health. Bad health is something of bad energy. You know, health doesn't, the, the bad health card doesn't always mean um, um, bad health. It can be the situation is bad. It's bad energy. So you have coffin together with occupation. Did you guys talk about what you want to do? Because it is, it is what you are doing. And the coffin is talking about like end a new beginning so as we've been saying like you have announced something new that means that you have quit something or you have ended something and this is a new beginning you know will it work out occupation will it work out and for some of you th th this is really the other th thing that i'm seeing is that this is really like oh f first of all i'm getting like this might be five people five people that suddenly my eyes went to the candle and like this is different five people and for some oh wait a minute another one um for some this these are the your family members that is talking about this situation right here because it, it's giving me that um you guys are from the same root but different branch so this so it may not be your close family like maybe your niece and nephew or you know in that kind of way so uh same root different branch is what i'm getting with that okay that's what i'm getting and it's five people for some it's really five people it i'm really getting uh, three is like siblings or mother father together like a a, a a family member and the other one the other two is niece and nephew you know when you like they may be uh there was a party and they, like a, a um 
a birthday party and two of in a family house of one of your family and then they come that family exists that they, they were sitting there as mother father child and then niece nephew they were they were the one doing the talking kind of a situation that is not of course not for everybody you know don't go attack your family now <laughs> but it's really a strong message of same branch uh the same roots different branch um and you know already who it is if i if i say it like that that you'll be like oh i know exactly who you're talking about and it can also be a family that you have married into so yes you are now belong to the branch but then from their your partner side is what i'm getting so it is is about for some of you you have announced that you are going to start a new business you know a new thing that you want to create it uh and that's the, that's the thing let's see let's roll the dice let's see where exactly or what more do we need to know about this situation so this is the seventh house partnership we have sagittarius and we have venus now we also have scorpio taurus scorpio aries we have also um, the cancerian sign so those signs might play a role in who these people are for some of you, this is about who you are going to marry. This is the person that you have been married, the family members of the person that you have married. Because we have Sagittarius and Venus, that is Jupiter and Venus. Jupiter is um, the husband in astrology, Vedic astrology. And Venus is the wife in Vedic astrology. Together with the seventh house ruled by Venus, Libra sign, that is the person, your partner. And it can be business, platonic, or just one-on-one -on -one connection. So this is something of partnering up. And as I said, it might be your in-laws talking about you. Might be you have announced a new relationship um, or a new partnership uh, to your family member or to people and they are weighing their opinion their thoughts about this situation this can be to do that you might have even announced that you are going to learn or teach something to people and they might uh, questioning uh, your knowledge and wisdom about that topic um, this can be to do with your money with um, your business your close family um, and the partnering up that you are doing as i already said it continues um, the synchronicity remains the same each with each card so it's like yes we are definitely talking about the topic that you started with you know so they do give me confirmation that this is really it so yeah let's take a look what you need to know more about this situation right here look at that underneath the deck parrot someone will gossip about you about all your secret and uh, believe me it really was i, I shouldn't show it on uh, camera but it really was underneath uh, underneath the deck you know so yeah let's see so you have let's start with this one you have may so maybe this has started when you have made an announcement in the month of may or may plays in a big role in this situation um the month of may when it all started or when you announce it or when they find out or you will find out or something had happened in the month of may that made it that this situation unfold like this and then you have a uh, harp great happiness yes that's definitely what is happening for you but people are doubting your your happiness people are doubting if is this gonna really work out kind of a way then you also have get back to basic quill don't worry about them looking at the queen of swords embrace that and then you have romance celebration and party 
Yeah, this is what we've been talking about, okay? This is what actually is happening. You have a great thing that you are celebrating, but other people are kind of like envy and are gossiping and actually are losers, okay? They are losers because why aren't you doing what I'm doing? Okay, why aren't you finding your happiness and start something new so that you don't have to gossip about other people's business? Okay, that kind of energy is what I'm going to say to them. Like really go to something of a hobby before you put your eyes and your mouth in my business. Okay, <laughs> like really, it's, it's very irritating because we have something to celebrate, as I said, from the get go and something to be very happy about. But here you are. Here you are defend. Don't even defend yourself. Let them gossip whatever. You like show them. Don't even entertain that whatever they are saying. Just show them that you know what you are doing. That this new chapter of yours is a new beginning, and you know what you are doing, and you're gonna be happy, and you are gonna celebrate it. And whatever their wish and dream is, or their negative talk is, is not what you are embracing. It's not what you are going to. Um, take on your journey on your new chapter okay my love let it be clear f them okay f them and congratulations on whatever announcement that you are making i'm happy for you i am happy for you that being said i do hope i could have helped you my love um don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe if you are new to the channel hi welcome i'm thankful you are here if you guys want to let me know that you have stayed till the end like put a feather okay put a feather uh that that will let me know that you you stick around till the end and i'm thankful for it and i will see you in another video of mine or in another pal bye bye so my lovely beautiful pal so you have chosen this sticker or emoji for your pal together with a smoky quartz crystal as your pal let's take a look let's see what it is that you need to know when it comes to the people that are gossiping about you um you have success a libra sign uh let's see i asked my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us home to to let us know for part two what is people gossiping when it comes to part two you have fertility hope pumpkin productivity one more please thank you and abundance okay hmm so for you my lovely beautiful pal too what is people gossiping when it comes about uh, comes to you um this is something can be to do with your money with what you can achieve will it be fruitful yes or no will you will you reap what you are sowing yes or no this this isn't a bad gossip is what i'm saying it's more like somebody wishing you well in your adventures may it be fruitful this person doesn't talk bad it's more positive talk positive talk positive communication this might be a a, a caretaker of yours a mother figure is what i'm getting a mother figure like you might be their child you know and or oh, this person is your mentor your guru your teacher is what i'm saying or a partner of yours uh, a close family a close family is what i'm getting but this this person really really wish you well really wish you well i think like you have graduated from something like that they be like oh i'm happy that you have done that 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 i hope that that now your next step your next chapter will be of abundance and fruitfulness that's very kind of them it's like they are talking about you but talking good you know it's like you know the saying like i hope a person talks the same way in your face as as um when you are not in the room this is it this is very caring and loving 
This is somebody that really have faith in you that you will be successful and that you will get and go and get it. Um, and only wishes you that actually only wishes you that if you look at the card, it's only, only good, good thing. Like you have Leo fertility. So Leo is the fifth house is your children is your creativity is your passion is how the sun is shining you know is the thing that makes your ego giggles and then you have success in libra sign that's your partnership that's your business you know that's the success the key to success kind of a way great partnership business or platonic or relationship then you have the hope card with the uh, taurus sign that is um your money that's your close family that is that everything is well kind of energy and then pro productivity with cancerian sign it's like really like emotions and feeling that may it be well may it all works out and of course abundance with sagittarius you know that is abundance in whatever a vendor a vendor a vendor Honey, child, you know what I'm trying to say. A vendor? I don't know. <laughs> In whatever a vendor? <laughs> child. <laughs> not my first, not my second, child. But in whatever a vendor that you, you, you go upon, you know, that you go for. A vendor? I don't know. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's see when it comes to um, your... I was looking because I, I was like, I want to use this tarot. So yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what it is that you need to know more about the people that are gossiping about you. Let's see what is that you need to know more. Ooh. Oh, this one, eight of pentacles. This is about a beautiful thing, y'all. Yeah. Something that you are working on. Let's see. What is it that you need to know more? Oh, the Queen of Swords came through also for another pal. So maybe you felt drawn to another pal. But this one is giving the energy of you being a boss. You know what you are doing. You don't, yeah, you don't, you don't sway because of what people are saying. So you also have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse together with the four of cups and underneath the deck you have the page of swords and then the six of pentacles uh, next now here's the thing you are fresh and new in this situation i think some of you just came out of school or just came out of a the class uh, there is something that you have been learning and uh, hello my algorithm says that people over 60 also watch my videos so it can be that you may have started a new craft or something you'll be like no Rama, my my parents is long gone there is somebody that has the energy of um a caretaker you know that sees you very like oh i want to nourish take care of that person i want to see them well like a parent love you know doesn't have to be a parent you know or a partner of yours so this this person that is talking about you you haven't started whatever you are starting it haven't been fruitful yet but this is something that they see like you have the potential. You have the potential to reach whatever it is that you, you, you are taking on. And it can be a lot because they see high, they think highly of you. They think that you have so much potential and whatever you start, if you put your, 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 your attention to it, if you put your energy to it, you focus, you can do it because you are smart. That is the page of uh, of swords. You are smart and not only that, you are somebody that wants to discover, wants to know the knowledge, wants to know the wisdom. And here's the thing. You start as the page of swords, but you will end as the queen of swords that knows all the, because they see you as a queen of swords. But every time you start something new, you have the mentality of, of being the page of swords. Very curious, very like, oh, even though I am at age dot 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 
if I want to know something, if I want to start something new, I will invest my time in it to get to know what I need to know about the situation. And that is why they know that if somebody hands you something and you are interested in it, it will be successful. If you are really focused on it, it will be successful. If you are um, invested in whatever craft you are doing, it will be successful. Even if it takes a long time looking at the seven of pentacles in reverse, even if it is something that you don't want it, you have the capacity to kind of like, you know, take on this assignment and make something of it. So they know that you about to, whatever the world give to you, you know, you can handle it. That is really this energy. So this person is talking very highly of you behind your back. Yo, and I like it for you. I really like it for you. Because they see that you you have potential some people see that in another person and and every lots of people see that but some people see it in other people and be like you know what they want it for them and other people be like i don't want them for them and this person they want it for you they wish you well you know and other people they are just leeching on people that they see potential in for you know whatever day comes that something happened they are also on that boat with you you know so th th those are bad people they will gossip uh, ugly when you are not in the room and then when you are in the room they'll be acting like foes you know fun hey pal to no no this person isn't like that this person is really that is why i'm getting the energy of a mother figure or a partner that is really proud of somebody that can be proud or a, a, men, a mentor, a guru, a teacher that is proud that they know that you can do something. Don't ever doubt yourself. That kind of uh, energy. So let's see. Uh, what is it that you need to know more about the person that is gossiping about you? Oh, one more. Uh, two more, please. Oh, no. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess what we will do two more actually I only needed two but hey high honor <laughs> underneath the deck so let's see I was distracted yeah I was distracted guess then I will do the other ones only two the, the tea leaves so you have lovers okay you also have community then you have marriage and you also have judication. This person is beautiful. Beautiful. Whatever community you find yourself in, it will be nice. You are great in partnering. You are great with the surrounding, with your people, with your friends. You are great in one-on-one -on -one communication. Honey, it's like, it seems like you are here on this, uh, on this reading for me to, uh, you know, brush your shoulders. <laughs> like, don't, don't think less of yourself because this person don't. <laughs> and so really this, this situation, even, even, even if you guys part ways, looking at a judication, they will think highly of you. You have made an impact in this person's life and parting ways. I'm talking about the fact that if if you guys have graduated and this is a mentor or a teacher or a guru you know they'll be like oh my student as now has his wings or her wings and i'm proud to say that i know they will fly high you know here is where our ways will part but i know they do well in 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 the in the world you know and or it can be a friend it can be a, a parent it can be somebody it is somebody that's really highly thinking highly of you so this situation is is a very well balanced partnership this person that is talking about you behind your back is very well balanced they think highly of you they think you are smart you are great in communication i don't know if you know more than one language but this person is like let them be the one that writes your resume you will have the job honey you will because they will they will they will really put you on the pedestal 
pedestal for the next job that you are getting. So maybe you should put their numbers on your resume, you know? So also not only that, the way you communicate with other people, the way you kind of like involve other people, the way you have love for your community, for, um, and, and, and no, no race attached. It doesn't matter. People for you is people, human being is human being, even if they are bad, they see that you can find solution that, that yes, you know, like don't, don't entertain bad people, you know, but they know you don't see difference in human being humans is humans. Okay. Being is being. So you, you are okay with that. And also you will find a great partner. This person if they don't love you, if they don't like, if this is not a partnership that they see you as, I I want a relationship with this person, that they might be gossiping uh, to their friends, like, listen, I think I find the one, you know, this person might want to, want you to be the one. And we've seen a lot of Libra and, and, and Sagittarius in this situation. So it might be also this person wants you to become their partner because they see you having like, um, for every part in your life, you, you, you fit in what they wish their partners to be, you know? It's like looking at the page of cups is giving me that like you, even though their interest might not be your interest, you don't look different at this person. You are n accepting of the differences in, 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 in them and in other people. That is why I'm getting that energy that you, you don't discriminate in whichever way when it comes to human beings. So let's see. You have the ninth house. Okay, together with Mercury and also Aries. I like that. So maybe you have a uh, Mercury in your ninth house or you have a Gemini ninth house or an Aries ninth house. But this situation right here, when it comes to this person, you guys might communicate with each other. This person might be the whole time. I'm saying a mentor or a guru. You have the ninth house. That is the mentor, the guru, the teacher. And then you have Aries. I am. So this situation right here is you. You guys might teach or learn something with each other. It might be a language, as I said, language. Um, um, because the ninth house is far away from you. It's travel, uh, traveling and stuff. And Mercury rules communication. So that might be different language between you guys or you teach different language or you are going abroad to to learn something there is something of a lesson in this this is something that will make you whatever endeavor you are going for uh, i love this for you i like this because this person whatever adventure you put your mind on they they be like i'm proud i'm very proud of pal too because they are um um, really like you are for the world and not to say that in a bad way, like you are for the streets, kind of a, in, in me, the same meaning, but you are for the world, meaning like you came here in this, on this earth to grasp the knowledge and wisdom, the abundance of wherever you want the abundance to be, to become successful, to have hope, to have the productivity and also the fertility in whatever endeavor you, you embark on, you know, and that's the reason why we are here on earth. And you are a great example for this person that's actually gossiping about you because they look at you and be like, yes, pal, pal too. Yes. This is the person, this is really a great person. And this is the reason why, and this is why, what I wish for them. So that is why they are not talking bad about you. So let's see. I said two, but guess what? It's more. <laughs> let's, let's do it for you. Okay. Let's do it for you because this person is nice. So, so I will be okay with, 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 with giving you more message about this situation. So you have dealing or relationship with a woman. So this, as I said, this can be a woman or a female, uh, uh, um, 
the woman and female same thing but i mean a mother figure you have throne position of authority yes that this is this is <laughs> this is you the queen of swords this is how they see you sit on that throne put your crown up and don't you dare let it fall you're a queen honey and if you are a male you're a king or recognize yourself as a male you also have keep your life in balance okay this is what they are wishing for you that that is what will happen i will put it on the abundance card and also you see the signs libra continues popping up in your uh, cards and then you have guarantee success honey guarantee success yes we've been saying that together with increase your effort if you want to achieve your goals we've been saying <laughs> it this is funny <laughs> This is funny because it's kind of like I'm repeating myself, but now you see it yourself. Okay, so definitely if you increase your effort, if you go for whatever it is that you want, you can achieve it. There is definitely success for you. Sit on that throne. Just keep things in balance. Okay, and then you have new job and slash career. <laughs> We've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. Whatever endeavor you find yourself on, honey, this person that is go gossiping about you only brings positive energy towards you. They be like, honey, I am plotting. Even if you didn't have the job yet, I will write your resume for you. Let them call me. Okay, let them call me and I will tell them what I find about you. That kind of energy this person is giving. So it's beautiful, whatever, whomever this person is that's gossiping about you. I do hope you have found your reading beautiful. Let me know down below what you thought of it. Do you already know who this is? You know, write it down below. And I thank you for spending your time with me. And if you are new to this channel, like really, if you like the vibration, don't forget then to subscribe. And if you haven't chosen another pile, I will see you in another reading of mine. Bye bye. So pile three, you have chosen this sticker or emoji as your pile together with the uh, moonstone, the rainbow moonstone. So let's see uh, who is talking about you what's the gossip uh that they have on you i asked my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us harm to none to let us know when it comes to the gossiping who is gossiping about pal three your first card is desire cancer the cost letters let's see what is that you need to know about the person that is gossiping you have victory. Uh, victory is the airy sign together with stimulation. Once again, airy sign. And then you also have wholeness, Aquarius sign, blueberry. One more. Let's see. Together with clarity. This is the Virgo. So let's see. Okay. There is something that this person doesn't know about you. They are curious. This person is actually searching for information. It's like they don't have what they, they, this person doesn't have what they need to know to finish the story to kind of like have a picture of you so they are kind of like fishing for information that's what i'm getting with this they they it's like oh let's see who knows more info about pal tree this person is is looking for something you also have an eye here on this card is this person is fishing and this person is finding themselves on thin ice may i say because they don't know with whom they are talking to you about you if this is a friend of yours a good friend you know some people are kind of like i'm like um in my language familiar uh, fam acting familiar like hello you might have just just met me at a party or you have just encountered me for just a little bit and you're you're in, you're asking for information 
because you have a kind of a feeling about me. And this feeling, it's not something that I will say, I don't find it yet like this person meant well or is meaning well because this person is bringing lots of, um, it's giving me the energy. There is lots of fire in this energy looking at two times Aries. Like this person is, it's kind of like, are you, are you, are you on my level? Yes or no? Because they don't want you on their level. They, they are fishing to see where are you standing in comparing with the, the, the connection that you have. Because you guys have the same connection with each other, but they just want to know like, okay, where do you guys put this number three person? Like, who is she? Who is he? Let me know. Like, you know, those type of a people, like they, they be like, oh, mm, did you see felt number three? And just looking how people is coming back with something while they are saying that, like what are their reaction? And because of that, they can kind of like see like, oh, so you are that person's friend. Okay. And you don't like that either. Okay. What is it that you don't like about that then? You know, like that kind of energy this person is giving, like they don't see, like, it's like, oh, let me just fish and see like the carrot card is also saying suddenly now looking at the carrot like you know when you pull a carrot it's still you pull it out you see what you have but till then you don't know what kind of carrot you have is it a big one is it a small one you know this person is finding themselves on thin ice i don't like them ah no that's that's a bit, little bit no the energy the energy that i'm getting from them it's like, no, no, because you are trying to, um, um, as the stimulation card is saying, you are trying to start something where people can go on and make a little gossip, a big gossip, you know, be like, oh, oh, okay. No, because I heard F up what you heard. I don't give a F what you heard. You don't even know in what kind of a friendship you find yourself. And let it be that one person that really likes you is in that group that they are talking about you. You know, you, that person that is kind of fishing. And they come back towards you and be like, you know, that person, he, she, the it was talking about you at that party. You know, and be like, why? Why? It's only because they are curious. You know, you come in with a present that you know who you are. And they know who they are, but they are kind of like also insecure about their position. And they are be like, okay, I am normally the I am of the group. And now here pal three comes and has the same energy, maybe it's even different. A little bit of mysterious with her or him. He, she, they, it, you. And they want to know about that. What's what's the T? What's the T on part three? You know? Let's see what it is that you need to know more about this situation. Who is gossiping about part three? I will take this one like so. Yeah, they don't have info about you. You have the four of swords in reverse, four of uh, six of cups in reverse. You guys, I will show you in a bit. Let me first continue shuffling. Like, let's see. What is the gossiping? I need to grab this one. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Together with the oh seven of wands underneath the deck you have the judgment card and the nine of pentacles you are too independent you are an independent king or queen and miss or missus doesn't know what to do with it and wants info about it let's talk about it okay let's talk about it this situation right here it's uncomfortable for them maybe they have made a kind suggestion to you and you have declined it if you look at the six of cups upright like you you see that that girl little girl is taking the offer that this young man is giving them out of kindness a reminiscing of oh priest bringing you know oh wow very nice of you now look at this 
if you put it in reverse and you look at her face now, she is declining it. Like this, this face is like looking away. She's declining it. Like, no, I don't want it. And that's the thing. You have declining an offer that they have brought to you. Like in the past, this person has come to you because the six of cups is something that had happened in the past. A reminiscing. This person has come to you with a kind suggestion. You have declined it. And since then, they are kind of like, they don't know. They don't know what to do with you. What is the gamble? Will you be kind to them? Will you be mean to them? What is it? They don't have victory with you. Like this one is like, yes, I have to defend myself, but I will come above it. Whatever happening. And in reverse, they didn't. And if you just think about that before this card, they had victory. Looking at the victory card, they had victory, but the outcome of that isn't a victory. They have lost something where they might have thought they had you in the pocket or be like, okay, I got this. Here you are coming along, pal three. And whatever that was making them be the boss of the group or of the situation, just I don't know, it can also be your job that this person was the person that the go-to or the manager that was sitting there and here you are coming new in, fresh and new. People are starting to liking you and everybody is forgetting about them. And they be like, okay, listen, I don't know what you guys, why you guys are hyping part three up, you know, because they be like, okay, I was the one that should have had that offer. That offer was for me. And now here you go. You guys are giving it to Pal three. Or they have given you an offer and you'll be like, no, thank you. Maybe you are the manager of a job or something. And this person works with you and kind of like wanted to kiss ass with the manager. And you'll be like, no, 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 I don't take uh, gifts. They'll be like, mother effort. Here I was thinking I can get you on my good side. <laughs> So it's really a gamble with you. They don't know. They don't know where to go with you because you are not giving them much info of who you are. What's your step? What you're going to do? They cannot win with you. They don't have enough animo. Is that a correct word? Animo? You know, that, that, that they can use then later on against you. Kind of a situation. So let's see. What is that you need to know more about this situation, about the gossip, the person that is gossiping about you? I do hope you already have a kind of an idea who this person is, my lovely, beautiful pal three. And also, if you guys like this reading, don't forget then to um, interact with it because, hey, that is the way you can help me out with my channel. I'm new in this situation. Official person underneath the deck. I'm new. I'm not new. I'm here for four years already. But yeah, um, with your interaction, you are letting YouTube know that something is happening on this channel where they will then push me into a bigger crowd. I really need you guys help when it comes to that one. Yeah. So yeah, um, if you don't know what to write, put some um, carrot. I was looking for it. I wanted to say wortel. Like that's Dutch wortel. Like put some carrots in the in the comments just to just to boost this video up, okay? You don't have to you don't have to interact like a whole message. If you be like, I don't know what to tell you, woman. <laughs> just put some carrots. I'll, I'll I'll I will I will put some eyes because hey, if you eat carrot they say the 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 that your eyes will be great, but it's not true, but I will put some eyes like I see you. I see you. Thank you. So yeah, back to your reading. So you have privileged lady. That's who you are. Uh, if you are a man, privileged man. And then you have mature man. Hey, okay. And then you have bad health together with house. Oh, privileged lady, mature man. Some of you. Are you marrying or are you in a partnership with somebody that maybe their family, their family member is against you? 
Like you a gold digger. <laughs> I'm kidding y'all. I don't know if I'm kidding. It, if it is a message, it is a message. You are very closed off. This person cannot reach you. They cannot reach you. This situation is that th this situation is really like, I don't know what I need to, um, I don't know how to make you bad because your uh, persona, your outer persona, and I mean, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the person that is gossiping about you. How they see it is like your how people perceive you, how you are being perceived in the world is too nice, too beautiful, too stable. Okay. There must be something bad. Like the bad health talks about something bad. Like, you know, like they say, every house has its cross. Like this person is out to look for a cross in your situation because it all looks too good to, to be true. You are or acting like a privileged lady or a, a mature man that it'd be like, okay, what is this? And for some of you, they are investing in the person that you are, have as a partner. How did you come at, at, at with that person? Like, what is you guys age different? Why are you in a relationship with them? What does he, she, they, it sees in you? That kind of energy. This person needs to mind their own business, but hey, seems like Karen has nothing else to do than make your business her business or his business. This person is giving like for some, for some, this is the ex of the person that you are dating right now. Like maybe this person was married to the partner that you have right now. And because of what they have declined, like, no, I don't want to stay married anymore. Six of cups that was in the past. The wheels are turning. This is, uh, I want to move further. They are curious about who are you that is entering the world that they have failed to maintain. Ooh, child. Let me say that again, because listen, honey, this independent woman, privileged women, that is how they see you. I will continue once again. Like, who are you coming into the world that they have failed to maintain? And that is in every spectrum. If this is work, then you are the one now people want attention of instead of them. Who the hell are you? If, if this is about relationship and this is the ex of your partner, partner, they are thinking like, who are you that they want? You, you, you don't even look, you are not his type. Normally he, she, they, it is looking for this kind of a type, you know? Meanwhile, <laughs> you are enjoying the hotness of them and they are enjoying the hotness of you. So this person is really questioning the person that you are and who are you to come in and, 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 and take what was once them being on that throne. So let's see what it is that you need to know more about this situation. You have the third house together with Mercury and Gemini. Guess what? These belong together. How funny. Oh, it, it flipped, but it was Mercury. Believe me. Zoom in, zoom in. So this, this is Mercury together with Gemini rules by Mercury and Gemini rules the third house. So honey, this this situation this person might be a gemini definitely big on gemini okay um this person you might have communication with them this person lives in your neighborhood is somebody that is in your surrounding your close surrounding so you might come them across of them when you go shopping you know you may bump into them when you go to so this is really a community and this person is also in it um this person for some of you might be your sibling okay not everybody, but for some, for a little percentage, it might be your siblings. You have com communication with this person. This person can be in your friend's group. Isn't your friend, but belongs in with one of your friend's group is what I'm getting with this. 
This person act friendly, very nice and sweet, is being liked by everybody, wants to be liked by everybody, act very childish, but has a two-face, Gemini. Not, I'm not saying Gemini has two-face, meaning Gemini, there are two people. So today they have two, not once again, I'm not talking about the Gemini people. I'm talking about the fact that there are, with Gemini, there are two people. So today they are like this, but behind they, they feel like that. So they are not showing their real face towards you. They have really double emotions, double feeling. And they are, they are, they are, they are kind of a false person. They have a mask on. Okay. So let's see what it is that you need to know more about this person. Let's see, my lovely, beautiful, woohoo, Valtteri. Um, ooh, okay, you have a lot, and I will take them. Underneath the deck, you have the wheel. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. But that's underneath the deck. Uh, let's see, because you already have enough, so you can, it's too much even. But hey, you're the last one. <laughs> so let's see you have thanks celebration fun enjoyment yes let it be jealous <laughs> then you have love deep affection and caring yes everybody around you except karen <laughs> and then you have purse pay attention to your finance okay and you have happiness together with the month of february maybe this person is born in february uh, maybe you have started something in february or there is something to do a connection with february or you will find out who this is in february then you have news of a birth a new business opportunity yes that's you and i do think it's because of this that they have issue like there is something new and it changed their life. Then you have heartache over what you no longer have. Yes, this is what they, this is exactly like, yes, you have taken something from them. Together with involvement with the law for the divorce, say, and together with dagger, fear, worries, tension, tense situation, fear, worries, tense situation. Yes, that's them. Together with great worry over nothing. Like what your cards is saying, like don't worry about what this person is doing, okay? Because this person is just trying to figure stuff out. It's, it seems like they don't know. And the best thing is that luckily they don't know. And it's better that they don't come to find out. Because it seems like the more they know, the more they can then invest in, you know, making your happiness miserable like their life is because of where they are in life. So really continue being a little bit mysterious and private if you know who this person is. Um, if you figure out who is trying to sabotage you or it's talking about your back with, I do think you guys have a friendship that connects to each other or a work situation where is why this person, or as I said, maybe your new lover, your, your person is their ex wants to know more about you. Like yeah that 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 can be that they are lurking on your social media page and stuff so be careful not to give them too much info because this person is fishing for more info about you because you are fresh you are new and they have an image about you and people have an image about you and the people the image that people have about you they'd be like i don't see it though you know, I don't see it. Like, but meanwhile, Mrs. or his is, is jealous because you have a great foundation or you have actually taken their place in, in that household that they used to run. <laughs> Let me know if this is an ex of, uh, ex of your man or woman. But this person is in, invested in your finance, in your work life your private life who you are 
in that kind of way so just enjoy life don't go don't go flaunt too much just because you want to put it in their face no don't be that that childish you know continue being as the privileged lady that you are or the mature man that you are continue being deliciously mysterious for them because they cannot figure it out meanwhile everybody loves you okay okay that being said also i'm getting don't befriend them do not befriend them they will come towards you with a very kind suggestion like oh we can good be good friends with each other you know like yes but don't go i mean if this is about you having a relationship and that person has children with their ex then of course if you if you go deep in the relationship you need to um meet the the other parent also just for a child's sake but you don't have to share your private life with this person you don't have to become friends with this person let it be that when it comes to the children they will communicate with each other you just have to be nice and uh, friendly but you don't have to be all up cozy with them because this person is going to fish and when they have a, a, a big wheel on the hook mm, they'll share your business so you don't have to worry of there is worry great worry over nothing but you have to be careful though okay looking at the fear worries and tense situation that being said my tummy is hungry and <laughs> i'm going to eat but I do hope I could have helped you guys. And I do hope you have liked the reading. If so, put up a heart. Or a house. No, put up a heart. Or a crown. Okay? No, put a crown. Because you you are you are winning. Okay? Put up a crown. If you have reached the end with me, that will let me know. You know, that you are, you are the realist. And I thank you for it. If you are a return subscriber or a return viewer may i thank you for your time i'm really thankful for your presence every time y'all i'm grateful for you and if you are new to the channel thank you for your time also if you like the vibration if you like uh, this situation we have fun over here just subscribe and let's have fun let's laugh let's get the knowledge and wisdom okay and i will see you guys in another reading of mine bye bye <laughs>